If you rip your jeans, don't throw them out. If you rip your jeans, repair them. If you rip your jeans, don't throw them out. If you rip your jeans, think about carrots. If you rip your jeans, don't throw them out. If you rip your jeans, think about being vegan. Think about helping the animals, saving the environment, and be vegan from now on. Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Katie, that vegan teacher in real life. I'm here in my basement. Oh my God, look at this clutter, guys. So for those of you who don't know, I was a nurse for 25 years and then I went back to university to become a teacher and I was a teacher for nine years and I recently quit my teaching job because what really was important to me was to teach ethics and about veganism and helping the environment and I found that the school system was too limiting for that. So I'm, I guess, retired or whatever. Also because of COVID, honestly, I didn't want to bring COVID to my my mother-in-law. But anyway, now I have to go through all of the teaching stuff that I accumulated over the years. There is so much stuff here. I mean, look, I have projects from students that they did these in my class. I have uh, all kinds of props that I used. These are the famous buckets from the bucket dance song. So I have to go through all this stuff and it's so painful. I hate throwing things out. I don't want to put things in the, in the garbage and landfills. So it's a big job, but I need to do it. Bye. Be kind, be vegan, start now. Be nice to every pig, chicken, and cow. Go to howdoigovegan.com. Go to howdoigovegan.com. Oh my god, your mom forces you to eat dead animals, eh? That is so sad. Oh my god, do you have any cats or dogs in your house? If you do, you should totally run away with them. They're Save the planet, save the animals, save yourself. This is your sign to be vegan from now on. Audrey, Audrey, the fact that you exist on this planet makes me just so happy. What a great job you did today in class two classes during our gym class you danced the whole time with me i loved your attitude i love that you didn't stop i love that you put our hashtag here on your presentation vegans supporting vegans i also liked what you did in cooking class today you showed us that you made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich which is 100 percent vegan and you also showed us yourself eating tofu audrey what can i say I just want you to keep staying in our class, keep being a great role model. I welcome you into my comment section. I can't wait to see some presentations that you do in the future. And if anybody is looking for a new vegan friend, I suggest that you add Audrey to your list. Congratulations, 100%. This is one of non-vegans' favorite responses to veganism. Morality is subjective. Okay, so if I say that racism is wrong, are you going to say morality is subjective? Sexism is wrong? Morality is subjective. Rape is wrong? Morality is subjective. We can all do what we want because morality is subjective. We make our own morals and we can do whatever we want because morality is subjective. I don't know what fucked up thing you base your morals on, but I base mine mainly on the golden rule. If I wouldn't be okay with someone doing it to me, then I don't do it to someone else. If I can't avoid it. Would you want to be shoved into a gas chamber just because someone wanted to eat your body? Would you want to be shot in the head, electrocuted, have your throat slit open with a knife? Would you want any of that done to you? No? So how then is it morally justified in your opinion? We're happy, we're healthy, and we're proud to be on the right side of history. We're brave, we get up, we show up, we speak up, and we never give up. We are smart, we know that every day is a brand new start. To keep learning with our heads and choosing with our Live a 
chocolate bars contain milk. There's nothing to celebrate about the dairy industry. Promoting these products means telling people that you support violating bulls, penetrating mother cows, taking baby boy cows away from their mothers and murdering them, kidnapping baby girl cows so that you can steal the milk, enslaving the mother cows by turning them into milk machines, cutting millions of mother cows throats when they are deemed no longer useful to the industry. Why not just be vegan? It's so easy.